Hello everyone and welcome to OMSI 2 The Bus Simulator. Today is um, quite an exciting video actually because there's a new bus for OMSI. Um, we've got a new toy, kind of, and um, it's this, the Volvo Olympian. This is my first look of it and um, yeah, this is the first time I've ever drove it and um, let's just see how it is. So the first thing I must say is this is not the final product in any way, shape, or form. This is a preview that has been given by V3D, the creator of the bus, and um, I'll provide a link for it, but I'm not sure if it's the most reliable link. The second thing I'd like to mention is I'm using a modified sound pack thing, because apparently the default sounds are rubbish, so someone's made a better sound configuration file, which just uses what is available to the best of its potential. Um, so I think I'm going to be focusing most on today, is what's already here and what's not here because this is a work in progress bus this is more of a preview than a finished bus um, this thing's not been released with repaint templates um, now I'm pressing the engine start button oh we do have an engine and a very annoying dinghy and it sounds okay um, I'm not sure if you can hear it. Take it out here. Sounds okay. Sounds vaguely like a Volvo Olympian. I'd say it's not bad. Um, just go down here. Interior sounds a bit fresh. Okay, sounds okay. This one sounds like a Voif gearbox example. Um, We've got what looks to be the Kruger displays, which is sort of standard for OMSI. Um, I think we're going to take this for a little drive. We haven't got a destination controller of any sort, so I can't see. I think this is yet to be put in. I wonder if the ticket machine is functional. No, the ticket machine's not been programmed in. Alright. Uh, this is, a, as I've said, a work in progress. Let's see. Do we have working destination blinds? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, this is by no means a finished product. Bus station. Right, we'll just pop it, pop it in, not in service, and hope it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, not much I can say about that. But I will say the model looks. It doesn't look half bad. It's done to a similar sort of standard of the ALX 400. Um, I'm liking the interior here. It's all feeling very Volvo Olympian-esque. Quite old-fashioned, which is the case of these buses. The thing I don't like about it is it looks too clean. Um, yeah. It looks too clean to be a Volvo Olympian. These things are normally absolutely shagged and battered, which is why I like them. They're full of character. But um, it looks okay otherwise. Like, oh, the modelling's okay. Um, is it a periscope? I think we've got a periscope. I'm not sure if it's functional. There's no periscopey bit in the cab. Um, no working ticket machine. But I think we should just drive it. So anyone who's been playing OMSI in the UK um, for years now will know how much people have wanted a UK spec Volvo Olympian. Um, I certainly have for a while. And um, yeah, it's good that we've finally got something that's drivable. Well, I'm just going to turn off the head movements because I absolutely hate it. <laughs> but... Um, we have a working indicator sound as well. The brake has the annoying ding when you put it on. This is all pretty authentic. And uh, it is quite nippy, I must say. But um, yeah, this is definitely a work in progress. You can tell this is more of a beta test of the, more of a sort of preview of the model. And um, V3D has said that the model is subject to change. I think there will be a lot more work done to this. 
particularly now that the Optest solo he's been working on is closer to release. Um, so overall, it will be really nice when this is finished. It's got repaint templates, all the set bars are working, everything's properly set up. But for now, it's just nice to see what you know we've, what we've got in store later down the line. I do quite like these sounds. Um, they're not the best sounds, but um, for the stage in development this is at, they're actually really good. The dashboard seems to be working quite nice. We've had lots of little lights flashing up, like the retarder light. Um, we had a parking brake light on earlier. Oh, it kicks down as well. Now it sounds a bit too much like the B70L, which I don't like. Um, Volvo Olympians are very different to B70Ls. So, um, yeah. It is real nice to see a more common bus type in the UK, because these are all over the UK. Every operator had their hands on these, it felt, um, in some way, shape or form. I do hope a London spec version comes out at some point because these were quite common in London as well, particularly with Stagecoach. Um, but I do think when the repaint templates are released and this model is complete, everything's all properly baked and set up, uh, I do think there'll be some lovely repaints for this. The amount of liveries that these uh, Northern Counties Olympians wore is nuts, honestly. Every operator had them. They're almost as common as the Alexander ones. To be honest, I think they're actually more common than the Alexander ones um, in terms of later Olympians. Because the Lovely First Bus had a bunch of these. Arriva had loads in Derby. Stagecoach just had them all over the place, really. Um, the Alexander RL was the only real sort of Alexander Olympian was built to lay other than the Dublin spec ones which are also really common I would actually really like to see a Dublin spec one because um, they've sort of been the mainstay of school contracts and um, smaller operators for decades now and um, they're only now bowing out of service some of the earlier Leyland ones, they really do last forever, an <laughs> Olympian does um, I know there's a place up in Wigan, a company up in Wigan has a bunch of the Northern Counties ones which makes sense. I just got a generic default horn. Doesn't really matter because, um, again, this is a. It's a preview bus. It's not anything groundbreaking. But I do like it. And I'm looking forward to when it is completed and, um, you know, everything's all programmed in. And it is a massive step up from the, those old MM2 converts that we had. And, um, yeah, it's just nice to have a UK spec Olympian. We've had the Hong Kong spec ones, but they're very different. Oh my days! Um, but the Hong Kong ones are much more different. They've generally got bonded glazing, three axles, and a much more different interior. I'm just going to pull over here, actually. Um, but one of these sort of side roads and just stop off and take a look at the bus, admire it, you know. See what we got going here. Um, actually take a proper look at it. So, inside, uh, that's an issue of the map, not the bus, I don't think. Does the bus stopping bell work? I don't think we actually have any bells in here, so um, I don't think that'll work. I do like, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but there's a subtle timing bell squeal on this, which is really nice. Like, it's very close to life. Sounds a lot more solo-esque, but it does sound like an old bus. Which I do like. You've got the bench seats, which are always a classic. These weren't built pretty much of anything else, were they? Uh, I can't tell if that's a periscope or not. Mm, we'll have to wait and see. It would be nice if it's had a periscope, you know, in the driver's cab. 
There's these seats which are higher up for whatever reason. Um, it's all high floor as well. Um, this is probably one of the later spec ones. Got this massive um, luggage rack as well. And um, let's take a look outside actually. One thing I don't like is when you put it in neutral and drive, there's no sound, there's no changing gear sound. Um, but I guess that's a work in progress. Not much has been textures here to actually either. Um, but I am liking these speedometers. Looking very nice. Not as good as the ones on the Renown, but it's a freeware bus. I can't really complain. Um, I do hope the ticket machine gets fully functionalized and scripted in. V3D has done ticket machines before, so I'm sure it would be a fairly easy task just to plonk one of those in. Uh, the model looks alright though. Again, not as good as the Renown, but the Renown is in a class of its own, I think. I'm still going to very much enjoy driving this. See what we can do in the dash in here. These are ripped out the ALX by the looks of it. Don't know what this does. Heating, no horn. Hold on. So we no. I don't know what that one does either. Nope. Not a clue. Got some miscellaneous bits and bobs air conditioning. Oh, we got lighting. Thought that'd be light. I'm presuming this is door open and door closed. Do we have functioning doors? Yes, we do. And the sounds do change when you open them, and the lights do come on, so... I'd say that's pretty good, and then you've obviously got your gearbox, which is a voice, as I can tell. Uh, by sound. I like the light, the sort of light textures as well. And, um... I've got a cash tray as well. I hope that's functional at some point. Cab door opens. It's got all the standard stuff you'd expect, bar the ticket machine and Hanover, and a few non-functioning miscellaneous buttons. Do you have any exterior views or just interior? Because that's one of the things with V3D and his buses. Is um I don't have any nice exterior views. Let's see if we can get a nice screenshot actually. Wanna turn that sun effect off because it's actually not the best. Uh, graphics. Sun glow effect. You can bugger off. Hey, that's nicer. Do we have headlights as well? Um, we've got full beams. Right. Is that van waiting for me? Or is he parked there? I can't tell. I think he's waiting. Let's drive into Cottrell bus station and summarise then. Uh, It's certainly very nippy. <laughs> Sod it, let's just drive crazy here. I think we just had another light on the dash come up, which is nice. The dash is all working. Now if I put the handbrake on... There should be a flashy light if I turn the engine off. There should be two lights there that flash. That's a common thing with these Volvo dashboards. Yeah, the turbo on this sounds like it was nicked from the, uh, the what do you call it, B70 LALX. Which is a pretty good bus. But I can certainly think of some liveries that it's a good look good in. Other than the ones that have been provided. Yeah, the ones that have been provided are quite nice actually. I am liking the Voith gearbox sounds on this. Gotta love a classic Voith. How fast can it go actually? Let's try opening it up a bit. 
capped at less than 70. That's not great. I'm sure I'll be able to hack it somehow and get the speed limiter off it. Yeah, I like this actually. It's nice in here. That retarder sound is nicked from God knows what, literally everything that's been released. Um, Envy 200, B70L, MMC, I've heard it. What else? Um, oh, what's the other one that we did? The Spectra. Yeah, V3D's made a lot of buses for ROMs in. They're all done to a reasonably good standard. Like, um, the Optair Solo is going to be good when it's done. Apparently, that's got the Allison AT545 that's on the squealy gearbox. Classic sort of specification, which, um, yeah, I'm quite familiar with, to be honest. Um, they used to come down my area a few years ago. They've stopped now because they've all been scrapped and bean cans and razor blades, but. Yeah, notice how I just jerked it there. That little red light comes on. That's nice, that. Nice little touch. Now, I'm wondering if this will come with flip dot displays as well, because these look real good with flip dots. Um, I'm not sure if it will or not, but let's we'll wait and see with the final product. I'm sure there's no brake squeal because um, these things being at least 22 years old or something yeah, at least 22, 23 years old um, they have really loud brake squeals so you can hear them from a mile off when they stop I've just noticed that badge that looks nice um, that looks nice also northern counties Love a good bit of northern counties. Um, the models, it looks acceptable. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, it's not like tons of detail, but again, it's not bland or boring or lacking of any detail. It's not groundbreaking, but it's not offensive. It's not rubbish. It's perfectly drivable. It's nice to look at. Again, the timing belt, I really appreciate that. I'm not sure if that's with the new sound file. I didn't look like it added any sound, actually. I just think it was... Um, it looked like it just updated the programming. So I think the sounds are all here in the package that VVD released. Uh, I think this is a good place to summarise. But I am hopeful. I'm expecting good things from the finished product. Let's hear the engine shut down. M doesn't seem to work for this, so I guess we'll have to use the um, the button in the cab. Big red one that says stop. Can we use it? Oh, just that. Um, come on. Do we have to put it in neutral, maybe? Okay, so we haven't got an engine kill. That's not great. Um, something needs to be added. It's an engine kill, because you're just going to idle until you run out of petrol. Uh, the liveries look alright. The default first livery, stagecoach and whatever. I chose first, because it's Cotterell. And um, Cotterell is first bus. I will provide a link for this, so you can try it out for yourself. See what you think. Um, but I think it's been a pretty good preview. And... Um, I'm going to end the video here because I'm just waffling at this point. Uh, if you liked it, like it. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that. I don't really care, but do what you want to do. Have a good day and peace out.